what is up guys and welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in to another video hopefully you watch it right to the end and if so if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button we are in the bmw that's right we're in the bmw x5 we got some new struts back there shocks not struts shocks and we are going to be putting them in but before we do that we're going to go get an old fella that's been missing youtube and we're going to get this work done so let's go get him and then we'll come back to the shop which i am at right now and we'll put it together well guys and just like that look who we picked up hey it's been a while my nephew we are going to head back and we are going to put these struts on uh it's not really much to do it's a pretty simple i say struts it shocks get it right i know people are going to comment and say ah oh, you don't even know what you're talking about but shocks we're going to put some shocks on the rear of this bmw and uh it'll get rid of that awful squeaking and rattling noise and god it drives me crazy um and I did get some new wheels put on the car. I will show you them too when we get stopped. But let's head back to the shop. All right, guys. So we're back at the shop and we're here and we got the cover all taken out. Basically, all you do is take out this plastic stuff. Um, and I'm just going to loosen the wheel off here with the three quarter inch socket. Another ratchet. So guys, I used to uh, I used to have a a Roby Impact and uh, it broke under warranty, so I sent it in to get it fixed. Two months to get it back. Two months to get an Impact gun back. So I will honestly say to myself, I will never buy Roby again. I should not have to wait two months for a gun to come back. So now uh, we have a bolt down here, one bolt that holds the bottom of it in. And uh, if you come down here and look, there's one bolt here, right? And it goes through and it's got a nut on the other side. So it calls for a 3 16th. Uh, or maybe it doesn't. No, it does. <laughs> I was like, I, I know that's what it is. So yeah, we'll just that on there oh that that is on there good so we'll get my breaker bar That's why most people don't change these. They're too hard to change. There's these on there, so long. You should grab that light over there for me. Yeah. Is this going to flow blind now? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can see now. <laughs> you know, that's not blind me or anything.
Oh. Oh, yeah, you want to talk about this. <laughs> I can't believe it's that tight. Like. Oh, I think I got it. Oh. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now I should be able to put this one back on. This is where the uh, this is where the impact would come in handy right about now. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, it's just so quick, right? After you loosen it, you just... Okay, so now we got to just separate this here. Nope, shit. I don't need that running against there. Um, there's, I got to get the other jack. Okay. Okay. Oh, where'd that go? Kick and stop. It's across the floor. All right, guys, so I just had Jeremy help me here. We had to hold it up while I tightened the inside here. Um, got the inside all tightened up. So now what I got to do is just come down here, and I got to basically just put this bolt back in place, right? And then tighten that up, and then it's done. It's not a very hard job. Um, more time-consuming than anything. That'll be the brand new strutner. What's that? That's what it needed anyways. Every time I was going somewhere, all I could hear was squeaking and it was in the passenger side, but it was or it was in the driver's side, it was the passenger side, but you know what? If you're gonna do one, you might as well do two. Yeah, just my, like my opinion. Yeah, you, know, just, you might as well do them both. Yeah, it's just like the brick pads. If you do one, you might as well do them all, right? That's right. That's plenty tight. Looks pretty good. Oh. Well, it looks better than the old one. <laughs> yeah. It looks new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that side though. So let me just put the tire back on this side and then we'll go to the other side and we'll come back and see this. Alright guys, so we got that side back together. I did realize I made a mistake, had to fix it right quick. It was a big mistake. Uh, I just forgot to put the uh, the top ring on that side. So anyways, we got this one out, ready to go. Uh, I got the tire loosened, just going to jack her up now. Take the tire off and we'll pull the strut out again.
All right, guys, so anyways, it wasn't someone here, but uh, we got the top done. It's all back together. We're just going to throw this bolt back in again. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be good. So what I need to do is I need the jack now. So if you want to grab me the jack there, just lift it with one hand and throw it over. No. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. <laughs> you trying to fuck her up in that seat. Mm. Wanna know something funny? What? This jack is about as old as you. Wait, really? Yeah. Twenty two years? Yep. Shit. I had this jack a long time. Well, I guess you're getting your money's worth for it. <laughs> yep. I mean, I would I wouldn't trust it with nothing anymore, but but for uh, small jobs like this, right? Yeah, like I mean, to do what it's doing here, it's perfectly, perfectly mm -hmm. fine. But as far as using it for anything else. Yeah, I know. See, the easier way would be to do this and jack it up more, but my jack doesn't go up more. <laughs> oh. That light makes me warm, it's pretty. <laughs> I know staying right here makes me, makes me all warm. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, now, where's the uh, right here? Let's put a little crank on her with this. <laughs> That's not turning on that side, is it? No. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna. Okay, that can go. Thank you. 
So we got this done guys, um, and as you've seen in the thumbnail, the brims, these are off, I don't know if you remember my buddy Ed in the videos, but uh, he had a BMW X5, and uh, he bought nicer rims for his, and he had these ones sitting there, because the ones he bought came with tires already on it, so he was like, well, instead of buying tires, I'll just buy these ones with the tires. Um, so these were just sitting in my yard, and I said, yeah, I said, uh, so those rims that are there, that's squatter's rights, right? You left them there long enough, they're mine now. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, yeah, we'll work out a deal. Well, the deal is, is I took them in. <laughs> you know, they were just sitting there. Um, them black ones I had on here were just ugly. They were so ugly. I don't know, anybody that owned it before me, and had those rims on it. Like they must have known they hated those rims. Like they were the ugliest thing ever. Or I should say wheels. Those wheels. Anyways, that's what it is. Let me get this back together and we'll catch you guys in a minute. Well guys, we just dropped off my nephew um, and the vehicle is way better now it doesn't feel like we're being thrown around when you make turns and stuff uh it's just you know you, you, just when you when you change it out you can feel the difference you know when you hit bumps it's not like you know like you think the back end of her is going to fall out it's you know it's it's solid it's there's no there's no bounce right like the way the way these cars should be you know they're not meant to have any bounce to them they're they're more of a sports vehicle right like you know kind of a a rough driving vehicle not rough but you know they're not like my honda civic i had oh that was rough but the suspension was some good in it um but anyways guys with that said i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button we'll catch you on the next one